Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for June 9th, 2021 from Psalm chapter 1, Prosperity is Hidden. We may be surprised to hear that prosperity is hidden, because when we consider the rich and the famous of this world who seem to have it all, but yet how often do we hear that they divorce and they struggle with addictions? True prosperity is not from earthly wealth, but as God tells us, is from God alone. The psalmist reminds us of this in Psalm chapter 1. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. Blessedness, true happiness, comes from the law of the Lord, which is the instruction, that is, the Bible. So when we delight in the promises of God given to us through his word, the Bible, we are then truly blessed. The psalmist then describes the results of being attached to God's word. Verse 3, he is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season and its leaves does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. A tree planted by a continual source of water is truly blessed, producing fruit and is strong, whereas those that are not attached to God's word have no inner strength, so to speak. Outwardly, they might look great in appearance, but inwardly, they are blown away. As Christians, we need to remember that God has planted us right where we are. It doesn't matter your location. What matters is the source of your strength, that is, God's Word. Because God comes to you where you are through His Word, which is our source of strength and peace in this difficult world. While others who are detached from Christ often struggle, as Christians, we also may have a little bit of struggle and uncomfort in this world, but we know the true source of our blessedness, the true source of our prosperity is in Christ. However, we also need to remember to take care of ourselves because of the sin in this world. And this self-care, as the psalmist says, is being attached to God through his word because this is how we prosper. And this prosperity is spiritual. So it is hidden to the world around us, except when we do bear the fruit of good works for our neighbor. But there's another part of this blessedness that comes from God, as the psalmist states in verse 5, Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Those attached to Christ have the, this gift of eternal life. But those not attached to Christ Jesus do not have the gift of eternal life and will perish. Yes, true prosperity is not something that we can measure by our bank account nor our social status. But true prosperity is hidden in our souls as we are led by the psalmist who would later write in Psalm 119 verse 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. God's word is the path to our eternal prosperity. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.